Welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Training. My name is Mikey Bell, and today we're gonna to be going through a quick and dirty 12 minute ab routine. This is really designed to just get your core firing in a functional and sustainable way, and hopefully get your abs lit up. Of course, abs are not built in a 12 minute workout. It takes months and years of consistent training to have a strong core. We're not going for the aesthetic of abs. We're trying to be functional, strong, well-rounded athletes, and that all starts with having a strong and stable core, which is what this workout is all about. Let's dive into it. There's no warm-up. All you need is your body weight and a mat. Let's get to it. Open the Outdoor Adventure Training app. Click on the 12-minute ab routine. It's gonna guide us through it. We got a circuit of planks and then a circuit of six exercises that's really gonna challenge our core, our shoulders, our obliques. Should be pretty good. Let's get into it. We're starting with a standard high plank. Hands are splayed nice and wide. I'm up on my toes and I'm tucking my tailbone forward just a little bit to get that contraction through the abdominals. And we're just holding here for a minute. <sighs> Great chance to breathe. This is an excellent exercise routine to follow up after maybe a more intense workout. If you're hitting any of our leg workouts lately or if you go for a run, this is kind of a good complement to anything like that. Also, could be a standalone routine as well. <sighs> really focusing on drawing that belly button in. A little bit of engagement through the glutes as well. So this first segment, there's no rest in between. We're going right from this high plank to a high side plank. Yes, your shoulders might get tired. <laughs> if you need to modify and do a low side plank, I'm okay with that too. Been loving these plank circuits though. So right away into the high plank, that hand is gonna get centered right in the middle. I'm gonna get up on my feet, get this hand up. If you need to modify, bend this bottom knee and brace like this. Okay, even 60 seconds like this, you're gonna feel it. It will take some pressure off the shoulder as well. But I'm gonna go for the real deal heel, heel, here. <laughs> real deal heel. Hips up, obliques engaged. Trying to create that straight line from my hand to my other hand. Keep those hips up. Don't collapse through the shoulders. Try to stay pushed away. And breathe. This is the warm up. Then we're gonna be switching right away to the other side in three seconds. Okay, so just replacing that hand. I'm gonna face away from you. <laughs> just getting up. Again, if you need to modify, bend that bottom knee and just brace like this, and that will certainly get you there. If your shoulders are lit up, side plank is totally fine too, down on the forearm. We're mixing it up though. Our ice axe abs routine. Use the low plank circuit. This is the high plank circuit, although we will be ending with a low plank. Hang in there, keep those hips up. Nice work, right into the low plank. Standard low plank, so forearms. You might be feeling your core already. I certainly am, along with the shoulders. We're not done with them yet either. You're welcome. <laughs> Get those hips forward. And this is more than just a minute. Whoever designed this workout is a little rude. Shoulders are feeling it for sure. If you need to pause or go to your knees, that's okay, but dig deep. Come on. Figured we've been doing a lot of 60 second planks on this channel. Good to increase the challenge, make it 90. If you nail this, 
without putting your knees down, you pretty much just did a four and a half minute plank without stopping. It's pretty badass. My personal record, I think, is like seven and a half <laughs> in a plank off with Catherine Malcolm. That was insane. On the Klamath River, on a whitewater rafting and kayaking trip. So random, but it was freezing. We had to stay warm. Planks will make you sweat. <laughs> Nice work. Okay, a nice rest. And then we're transitioning. This is a great exercise coming up next called lumbar walkouts. If there's one core exercise you should integrate into your routine, it's this one coming up here. I'm gonna go ahead and start early because I love it and I want time to explain it. And it's not super easy, although it looks like it. So just from the supine position like this, I'm gonna press my lumbar spine into the floor lumbar and that's the key counts. we cannot lose contact if you can fit a hand or even a sheet of paper under there you're blowing it push that lumbar spine into it keep the sacrum lumbar grounded and then nice and slow i'm walking my feet out keeping contact lumbar spine full extension and then slowly walk it back in but the key you could do this all day if your lumbar spine's coming off the ground, but press that sucker down. Don't let it come off. Really teaching that neural activation, creating that connection from your brain to your abdominals. Full extension. Slowly back in. and slow that's the key is to go slow this is the long set if you're starting to lose contact simple solution just don't go as far okay so maybe it's maybe right here is all you got and that's fine try to hold it and then draw it back in if you can't extend all the way that's okay you got you got room to progress that's beautiful Extension. Okay, 15 second rest. Ooh. Reverse high plank. We're doing a reverse high plank. Okay, this one's <laughs> gonna get your shoulders. I'm sorry. Okay, so your hands are gonna be pointed towards your feet. Reverse We're up this plank. way. Toes are up on the heels, popping it up. This is also gonna get your posterior chain. If mobility is an issue, modify as necessary. If you need to keep your hips lower, even if you need to keep your hips on the ground and just barely get up, that's okay. You gotta start somewhere. But if mobility is a big issue here, that's probably a bigger indicator that you need to integrate more mobility training into your life. Keep those hips up, I'm trying to stay straight from the heels to the shoulders. If you haven't done reverse plank before, excellent place to get started in your core training routine. You should feel this in your hamstrings your glutes, hopefully not in the low back because we're engaging our abdominals. Keep those hips up, glutes engaged. Glutes are core. That's why it's in this routine. <laughs> nice work. And we're flipping over to a low plank alternating low one plank. arm at a time. Alternating okay. one arm. Sounds easy, it's not. Okay, so just a standard low plank, and then my feet might go a little wider than usual. Low and then very slowly, alternating one arm. extending one arm out by the ear, bringing it back in, and then transitioning to the other side. Notice my hips are moving a little bit. I'm doing my best to manage it. Don't let your hips do this, right? If you're doing this, I'm sorry. Go to a different YouTube channel. This isn't the right workout for you. Go slow with control. And even if it's just raising your arm off the ground, that's okay too, but nice and slow. <sighs> Pay attention to the transition. <sighs> oh, definitely some shoulder mobility required as well. 
should have called this 12 minute shoulders. <laughs> Hang in there, team. Come on. A few more. Lock those abs in. <sighs> nice work. Nice work. Okay. Rotational, Rotational resistance, crunch. resistance crunch. This is an excellent one that's freaking brutally tough. Okay. So, still keeping the lumbar spine grounded. Hands are just up by the ears. I'm bringing opposite knee, opposite elbow, extending the other leg, and I'm pushing against, okay? I'm creating that resistance. And then nice and slow. But the real key is that I'm applying pressure. I'm pushing as hard as I can, which is not very hard. You might be feeling this in your core, because I am. Good, baby. That's what we need. Here in the garage gym. Push. If you can't reach, that's fine. Just get as close as you can. I'm not pulling on my head. Oh. Woo, try to get a couple more. We are not done yet. Oh, those are pretty ugly. <laughs> if you love them though, integrate them. Such a great hands. exercise. My abs are firing, high plank, external rotation, knee in. So I'm in the high plank, high plank which you should know by now. And then I'm bringing same elbow to same knee, or rather same knee to same elbow. <laughs> My elbow should not be moving. So I'm really trying to get up and out. In fact, I'm really trying to get my tricep with the top of the thigh. It's actually not my knee at all. It's my quad. Keeping those hips down. Wowzer. Abs are lit up. Third workout of the day. Freaking feeling it. Thank you all for being here, showing up. It means a lot to me, and I hope it's helping you. That's really what we're after. I want to help as many people as possible. I want to be a resource for you to get fit. Oh. Woo, baby. Last exercise, scissor lift. We're going to make these hard, okay? Not that they're not already hard, but we'll make them extra hard. This isn't little quick scissor lifts like you see on Instagram. One leg up, one leg out, hold it. Three, two, one, switch. Hold it. Three, two, one, and switch. Hopefully you're getting the theme. These are some slow scissors, man. They need some lubrication. And a little WD-40 on those joints. Remember, lumbar spine, staying pushed in. Try to keep your legs straight. Oh, hamstring and hip mobility is gonna come into play here. Come on, team, hang in there. Switch, hold it. Switch, hold it. A few more, come on. Last one. Hold it. Oh. Wee. Hell yeah, team. That should be pretty hard. It's short and sweet. 12 minutes. Your abs should be on fire. Mine sure are. Excellent job. Thank you for showing up. Don't forget to subscribe, like. We're pumping out these videos every day. Once again, my name is Mikey Bell. Check out our training programs at OutdoorAdventureTraining.com. And we'll see you next time on our YouTube channel here at Outdoor Adventure Training.